Google Earth has unveiled a realm of mysterious and fascinating discoveries, ranging from natural wonders hidden in the most remote corners of the planet to strange, unexplained structures that spark the imagination and invite wild theories. Each discovery underscores the power of satellite technology to uncover the secrets of the Earth. So we're taking a look at the top 15 most fascinating discoveries made on Google Earth. Starting with number 15, Jian Ren Chao. In an unexpected turn of events, Jay Wilbur from the Natural Arch and Bridge Society stumbled upon a remarkable sight on Google Earth, what appeared to be a colossal natural bridge stretching over a river. Further investigation revealed that this bridge was a local gem in China known as the Jian Ren Chao. Intrigued, he resolved to delve deeper into its secrets. On October 16, 2010, under the leadership of Ray Millar, a team from NABS embarked on a journey to visit this bridge. Prior to their arrival, the bridge remained virtually unknown outside of China, merely a local curiosity. It's crafted from limestone karsts, it's got the widest span among its counterparts in China, and it's nestled within a remote location, reaching the bridge proved to be an adventure in itself. Upon reaching a designated landing area, which also served as a launch point for a bamboo raft excursion up the river, the team began their measurements. Gunther Welt, equipped with a laser rangefinder, meticulously gauged the dimensions of the bridge. Their findings revealed that, indeed, it held the title for the world's widest natural bridge span. Additionally, they determined the height of the opening to be a staggering 230 feet. This type of natural bridge, known as a meander natural bridge, is characterized by a semicircular aperture carved into towering rock formations, shaped by the erosive forces of water and gravity. This fairy bridge owes its existence to the relentless flow of the Bulu River, gradually sculpting its distinctive arch over time. In their exploration, NABs not only uncovered geological wonders, but also contributed to the broader understanding of natural formations like these. Number 14. The Lost Mountain of Mabu In the heart of Mozambique lies a mountain shrouded in mystery. Mount Mabu, soaring approximately 5,600 feet above sea level, it's cloaked in dense, untouched rainforest. It's a hidden treasure in this vast savanna. Shielded by both ecological isolation and the scars of Mozambique's civil war, this peak remained a secret until 2005. The tale begins with Julian Bayliss, a conservation biologist at Kew Royal Botanical Gardens, scouring Google Earth for undiscovered biodiversity hotspots. His criteria led him to Mount Mabu, a pristine realm untouched by human hands. This mountain's remote location, coupled with the lack of accessible roads and limited knowledge of its existence, piqued his curiosity. With mounting excitement, Bayless organized an expedition to explore its uncharted territory. Led by botanist Jonathan Timberlake, a diverse team of scientists ventured into the unknown in October and November of 2008. What they discovered was beyond their wildest expectations. The biodiversity of Mount Mabu was staggering. Rare orchids and parasitic shrubs adorned the landscape, while elusive creatures such as the blue diker antelope and samango monkeys roamed freely. The team's collections included over 500 plant specimens, shedding light on a world previously hidden from science. But it wasn't just plants that captured their attention. Mount Mabu revealed a treasure trove of new species, from pygmy chameleons to bush vipers previously unknown. With each expedition, the mounted yielded more secrets, igniting a passion for exploration. The significance of Mount Mabu's conservation cannot be overstated. The Mozambique government commitment to protecting the forest from commercial logging underscores the importance of preserving this haven. Yet, as Timberlake notes, there's still much to learn about our planet's biodiversity. And he's got that right. Number 13. The Antarctic Pyramid The Great Pyramid in Antarctica An odd and controversial discovery that's perplexed scientists and conspiracy theorists alike stands as one of the most enduring mysteries in recent years. This colossal structure, seemingly buried beneath the ice of Antarctica, challenges our understanding of the continent's geological history. The discovery of the alleged pyramid was made through satellite imagery in 2009, and it sparked widespread curiosity and debate. This massive formation appears to resemble a pyramid with four distinct triangular sides, closely mirroring the iconic pyramids of Egypt. The symmetry and size of this structure are striking, leading some to speculate that it couldn't possibly be natural. One of the most intriguing aspects is its location. Antarctica is known for its harsh climate and uninhabited wilderness, making it a very unlikely place for such a monumental construction. 
The pyramid's presence challenges our understanding of the continent's history, as it suggests the possibility of a lost civilization that thrived in Antarctica long before it became the frozen wasteland we know today. Theories about this pyramid abound. Some believe it could be evidence of ancient civilizations with advanced technology, while others suggest it may have extraterrestrial origins. Skeptics, on the other hand, argue that the pyramid-like shape could be the result of natural processes or an optical illusion caused by the play of light and shadows in the image. But even if it is one big hoax, it's a lot of fun to think about a pyramid in the cold reaches of Antarctica. That's pretty awesome. Number 12. Coleto Fava Imagine you're surfing around on Google Earth and uncovered the biggest, pinkest bunny you've ever seen. How did it get there? Why is it there? Well, ask Gelatine, the Austrian collective known for its bold and unconventional art. Their portfolio of outlandish performances challenged societal norms and embraced the rawness of human existence. Installed in the Italian Alps, Hase is a colossal stuffed bunny, its pink form stretching across a mountain pass. Yet beneath its whimsical exterior lies a deeper message. Constructed with woolen skin by hand, it was stuffed with hay and left to decay naturally. Gelatin envisioned it as a symbol of transformation, celebrating decay as a catalyst for renewal. Now, despite its unsettling appearance, Hase has become a communal space, attracting picnickers and ponderers alike. Over time, it integrated into the landscape, offering shelter to local flora and fauna. While its physical form has diminished, its legacy endures. The art challenges conventional notions of beauty and decay. This work celebrates the raw and imperfect, inviting viewers to embrace life's messy, transformative qualities. Through Hayes, Gelatin invites us to reconsider our relationship with the natural world. Decay, once feared, becomes a source of renewal and connection. In Gelatin's words, decay isn't something to be feared but embraced, a symbol of life's cyclical nature and the potential for transformation. As we reflect on it and its legacy, we're reminded of our capacity to find beauty in the unexpected and the profound. Number 11. Peru's Buried Pyramid During a satellite imagery conference in Rome, Italian researchers Nicola Mancini and Rosalessa Panara from Italy's National Research Council unveiled a groundbreaking discovery, an ancient adobe pyramid hidden near Peru's Cahuachi Desert. Utilizing a new remote sensing technology, Massini and colleagues analyzed images from the QuickBird satellite, penetrating layers of mud and rock to reveal the pyramid beneath the Peruvian soil. Their investigation focused on a test area along the Nazca River, concealed by vegetation and located approximately a mile from the Chihuahua archaeological site. Employing high-resolution infrared and multispectral images collected via QuickBird, the researchers optimized the data using specialized algorithms. The result was a detailed visualization of a pyramid spanning a vast 97,000-square-foot area. Massini emphasized that while the discovery didn't surprise archaeologists, as this area is known to contain numerous buried structures, previous attempts to locate and discern them from aerial views had been challenging due to the low contrast between the adobe and background subsoil. The site served as a center for religious ceremonies, including human sacrifices drawing worshippers from across the region. However, around 300 to 350 AD, Cahuachi faced two natural calamities, a severe flood and a devastating earthquake, resulting in its abandonment by the Nazca, who relinquished the site's sacred significance. Number 10. Camel Crater In a remote corner of the Egyptian desert, scientists unveiled a remarkable discovery. Camille Crater, a small impact crater considered one of the best preserved on Earth. Unlike most craters, which bear the scars of erosion, Camille retains much of its original structure, even preserving the rays of ejected material that radiated from its center upon impact. Led by Luigi Folco, meteorite curator at the National Museum in Siena, Italy, the team was astounded by the crater's condition, likening it to those found on the Moon or Mars. This level of preservation offers valuable insights into the effects of small-scale meteorite impacts on the Earth. Initially spotted in Google Earth satellite images by Vincenzo de Michel, the Camille crater measures about 150 feet in width. Analysis suggests it formed from the impact of an iron meteorite approximately 4.3 feet in diameter, hurtling through the atmosphere at a staggering 7,900 miles an hour. To verify their findings, the team journeyed to the Sahara Desert in southern Egypt in February 2010. Witnessing the crater firsthand, they marveled at its well-preserved state, recognizing its potential to yield crucial insights into these events. While the exact age of the crater remained uncertain, scientists estimated it to be a few thousand years old, a relatively recent occurrence in geological terms. 
Studying craters like this one offer vital data on the hazards posed by small impacts, occurring roughly every 10 to 100 years. As objects the size of washing machines regularly enter the atmosphere, understanding these events do aid in devising mitigation strategies to safeguard against potential future threats. Number 9. Galashnak The next image on our list didn't just capture the minds of Google Earth explorers, it captured their hearts. Situated just off the coast of Taranj, Croatia, Galashnak Island, affectionately dubbed Lover's Island, has captivated romantics worldwide with its perfectly heart-shaped silhouette. Measuring a mere 164 feet wide at its broadest point, this idyllic isle has become a symbol of love, drawing couples seeking enchanting boat rides and breathtaking vistas on Valentine's Day. Its fame skyrocketed after gaining viral attention on social media in February of 2009, making it possibly the most renowned heart-shaped island globally. Despite its romantic allure, though, the island's recent fate took a somber turn when owner Tanchi Juresko opted to clear large areas of natural vegetation. This decision left many disheartened, fearing the island's charm would fade. However, Juresko had a grand vision in mind to transform it into an ever more enchanting destination for lovers. Inspired by Angelina Jolie's rumored consideration of purchasing a heart-shaped island in New York for Brad Pitt, Juresko saw potential in boosting tourism here. He embarked on a rejuvenation project, replanting 250 trees and erecting a chapel for romantic weddings. Despite initial heartache, Juresko remains optimistic about Galishnak's future, envisioning a landscape adorned with lush olive trees and resplendent scenery. In both love and the realm of heart-shaped islands, adversity often precedes the realization of a brighter, more beautiful tomorrow. Number 8. The Desert Breath Nestled amidst the expansive Egyptian desert near the Red Sea lies a hidden gem, a stunning manifestation of artistic brilliance known as Desert Breath. This creation, first unveiled to the world in November 2013, emerged from the fertile imaginations of the DAST art team. What makes Desert Breath truly remarkable is not just its sheer scale and beauty, but also its profound symbolism. It was conceived in 1997. This monumental land art project stands as a testament to humanity's capacity to infuse creativity into the barren landscapes. At its core, Desert Breath embodies the concept of infinity, a reflection of the boundless expanse of the desert and the depths of the human psyche. Its interlocking spirals evoke ancient symbolism, reminiscent of indigenous cultures' representations of life cycles and universal energies. Each step along its winding pathways invite contemplation on the eternal rhythms of existence. However, Desert Breath is more than just an artistic endeavor. It's a testament to resilience in the face of nature's relentless forces. Despite its construction, the installation is gradually succumbing to the harsh realities of desert life. The once glistening pool has evaporated, and the wind now erodes every structure it birthed, a poignant reminder of life's transient nature. In a similar vein, the spiral, another creation nestled in the Egyptian desert, offers a different perspective on infinity and the cyclical nature of existence. Comprising concentric circles and adorned with symbolic entrances, it serves as a portal to the infinite dimensions of time and space. Constructed with sustainable materials and designed to harmonize with its environment, the spiral stands as a testament to humanity's quest for harmony with nature. Moving on to number 7, the Arizona Airplane Boneyard. In the expanse of the Arizona desert, amidst the arid landscape of Tucson, lies the captivating site known as the 309th Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Group, affectionately dubbed the Boneyard. This facility, situated within the confines of the davis mothan Air Force Base, serves as a sprawling repository for retired military aircraft and missiles. Established as the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center and previously known as the Military Aircraft Storage and Disposition Center, the 309th AMARG boasts the title of the largest aircraft storage and preservation facility globally. It's under the jurisdiction of the Ogden Air Logistics Complex at Hill Air Force Base, Utah. This Air Force Material Command Unit is responsible for the care of nearly 4,000 aircraft of various types. The history of aircraft storage here dates back to 1945, when the Air Force Base Unit was organized to house B-29 Superfortresses and Douglas C-47 Skytrains. Over the years, the facility expanded and evolved and eventually became the primary repository for out-of-service aircraft. The location in Tucson proved strategic due to the region's low humidity, infrequent rainfall, alkaline soil, and high altitude, which collectively reduced rust and corrosion. The hard soil also facilitates the movement of the aircraft without the need for paved storage areas. 
with four categories of storage ranging from long-term preservation to parts reclamation and flying hold, the 309th meticulously maintains and processes aircraft here. Each one undergoes a series of treatments including removal of ejection seat charges, thorough cleaning, and sealing from environmental elements. Despite its operational nature and controlled access, the 309th occasionally opens its doors to the public through guided tours, offering visitors a glimpse into its collection of retired aircraft and missiles. Furthermore, the facility hosts an annual run-walk event, providing a unique opportunity for the public to engage with this captivating piece of military history. Number 6. Palmanova Star Fort Located in the northeastern reaches of Italy, near the Slovenian border, lies a historic town of Palmanova. While its roots extend deep into antiquity, the modern incarnation of Palmanova emerged as the fortified stronghold erected by the Venetian Empire during the 16th and 17th centuries. The primary objective? To safeguard against incursions from Austrian and Turkish forces. Founded in 1593, Palmanova's construction spanned over a century, culminating in a marvel of military engineering. Entrance to this fortress city is restricted to three guarded gates, underscoring its impregnable design. It was conceived as a utopian enclave. It was envisioned as a haven for self-sustaining communities of merchants, craftsmen, and farmers. The architects imbued the town with geometrical harmony, believing that aesthetic beauty fosters societal well-being. Yet despite its allure and its carefully orchestrated layout, Palmanova struggled to attract settlers. In a bid to populate this burgeoning city, the Venetian government granted clemency to prisoners in 1622, offering them land within the walls. Although conceived as a bastion of defense, Palmanova remained untested in battle. However, its purported invincibility did not deter conquest. Napoleon claimed the fortress city only to see it reclaimed by the Kingdom of Italy. Throughout history, its strategic significance endured. During World War I, it served as a vital military hub, hosting hospitals, storage depots, and training grounds. In World War II, Palmanova played a role in Italy's campaign against anti-fascist insurgents. It was designated a national monument in 1960. At its heart lies Piazza Grande, an immaculate hexagonal square flanked by architectural marvels, including the Cathedral and Civic History Museum. Palmanova's inception in 1593 marked a pivotal moment in Renaissance urban planning. It epitomized the era's fascination with geometric perfection and fortified settlements. Despite the tumult of wars and shifting geopolitical landscapes, Palmanova has endured, preserving its unique architectural legacy for over four centuries. And it makes for one pretty cool Google Earth image, too. Number 5. The Cradle of Humankind Nestled in the Gauteng province of South Africa, approximately 31 miles northwest of Johannesburg, lies the Cradle of Humankind, a paleoanthropological marvel that's captured the imagination of scientists and enthusiasts alike. It was designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1999. This sprawling expanse spans over 47,000 hectares and boasts an intricate network of limestone caves, earning its formal title as the Fossil Hominid Sites of South Africa. Bolt's Farm, nestled within the site, holds the distinction of being the birthplace of the earliest primate discoveries, setting the stage for groundbreaking paleoanthropological research. However, it's the Sterkfontein Caves that steal the spotlight, immortalized by the unearthing of Mrs. Plez, a 2.3 million year old Australopithecus africanus fossil. This remarkable find alongside the renowned Tongue Child lends credence to South Africa's status as a cradle of human evolution. Adjacent to the site lies the Rising Star Cave System, home to the mysterious Denalady Chamber, where the discovery of Homo nadali rewrote the annals of human history. It was spearheaded by Professor Lee Berger. This groundbreaking find, facilitated in part by Google Earth, unveiled the remains of a newfound hominid species, challenging our conventional wisdom and sparking renewed interest in our evolutionary origins. Notably, the unearthing of two partial hominid skeletons tentatively classified as Australopithecus sediba offers tantalizing glimpses into the complex tapestry of human ancestry. With anatomical features bridging the gap between Australopithecus and Homo sapiens, these specimens hint at evolutionary trajectories yet to be fully elucidated. Beyond the mere fossilized remains, the cradle of humankind offers a window into the mysterious behaviors of our ancient ancestors. As the saga of discovery unfolds within it, each excavation unearths new chapters in the epic tale of human evolution. With each fossil fragment meticulously cataloged and analyzed, scientists inch closer to unraveling the mysteries of our shared heritage, reaffirming South Africa's status as the crucible of humanity's origins. 
Number 4. Tidal Fish Trap a remarkable discovery off the coast of West Wales has unveiled a fascinating chapter in ancient fishing practices, offering a glimpse into the extreme fishing methods employed over a millennium ago. The finding, a colossal fish trap stretching 865 feet along the Teffy estuary, harkens back to an era when angling meant more than just casting a rod or a net. The structure, identified through aerial photographs and satellite imagery, stands as a testament to ancient ingenuity. It was constructed from locally quarried rock or boulders likely deposited by glaciers during the last ice age. Its exact age remains a mystery, though its submerged date suggests a lineage stretching back over a thousand years when sea levels were lower and the estuary took a different course. This relic emerging from beneath the waves beckons further exploration. It's an integral piece of the region's rich maritime heritage, too. In a collaborative effort between the Pembrokeshire College and the Dye Fed Archaeological Trust, a pioneering dive expedition shed light on the fish trap's dimensions and composition. Scientific divers, led by Dr. Ziggy Otto and Jen Jones, braved the depths to unveil its secrets, marking a significant milestone in Wales archaeological journey. Ironically, the fish trap, once a tool of human endeavor, has seamlessly integrated into the natural landscape, enhancing the biological diversity in the bay. Its discovery not only illuminates our understanding of ancient fishing practices, but also underscores the enduring symbiosis between humanity and the marine environment. It is pretty amazing that this thing, this ancient fish trap, was right under our noses the entire time. Who knows how many countless swimmers or modern-day fishermen went right over it without a clue of the history beneath them. Sometimes to catch a fish you need a bird's eye view, but this ancient trap also serves as a reminder of how our ancestors were able to weave their ingenuity into the fabric of the earth itself in order to survive. Number 3. El Hoyo In the northeastern Argentine countryside, a perfectly round island dubbed El Hoyo, or the Eye, has captured the imagination of the internet, sparking speculation about paranormal activity and extraterrestrial intervention. Measuring 387 feet in diameter, the eye sits amidst the swampy marshes of the Parana Delta, defying conventional explanations with its uncanny symmetry. Scientists have observed its peculiar features, including a hard bottom surface and a thin channel of clear, cold water encircling it. While theories abound about the island's origins, including UFO activity and divine intervention, some researchers offer a more down-to-earth explanation. Drawing parallels with natural phenomena like the Westbrook Ice Disk in Maine, they propose that rotational shear may account for the island's circular shape and movement. According to this theory, a slow-moving water current beneath the island's surface gradually erodes its edges, carving out a symmetrical circle over time. But the true journey began in 2015 when New Spillerm stumbled upon the peculiar formation while scouring Google Maps for filming locations. What he discovered was a perfectly circular landmass, yet what truly baffled him was the island's apparent motion, as revealed by Google Earth's time control feature, suggesting that the inner disk of land was rotating on its axis. New Spillarm ventured to the site with a team of specialists, including a hydraulic engineer Richard Petroni and a tech expert Pablo Martinez. However, their observations only deepened the mystery. They found the water unusually clear and cold, a stark contrast to the surrounding swamps. Undeterred by the unanswered questions, they launched a Kickstarter campaign to fund a second expedition, aiming to gather more data and samples to decipher the island's origins. With a goal of $50,000, the campaign seeks to assemble a multidisciplinary team equipped with diving gear and drones for a comprehensive exploration. As the research continues and new discoveries emerge, the eye remains a captivating enigma, inviting speculation and inquiry into the mysteries of the natural world. Number 2. Lake Ermia Satellite images of Iran's Lake Ermia have unveiled a captivating yet perplexing sight. The once serene waters now resemble a scene from a grisly crime novel, painted a deep shade of blood red. This startling transformation, captured by NASA's moderate resolution imaging spectral radiometer on July 18th, stands in stark contrast to the lake's earlier greenish hue just months prior on April 23rd. The rapid shift in coloration has left scientists and onlookers alike puzzled, prompting a closer examination of the underlying causes. The lake is on the border shared by Iran and Turkey, and it's long been subject of scientific curiosity. Spanning vast expanses of marshy terrain within the Parana Delta, the lake's unique ecosystem harbors a rich diversity. It's these microorganisms in there, specifically certain bacteria and algae, that are believed to be responsible for the lake's dramatic crimson transformation. 
Among the microbial suspects are the halobacteria and Dunaliella algae, also known for their affinity for high salt environments. When exposed to intense sunlight in such conditions, these organisms produce pigments that tint the water red. While the algae has been implicated in previous color shifts like the lake, recent observations suggest that the bacteria may also play a significant role in the current phenomenon. The occurrence of these color shifts in natural bodies of water is not unprecedented. Around the world, similar phenomena have been observed, each with its own unique set of microbial protagonists. In Texas, a lake turned ominously red during a drought, attributed to certain bacteria thriving in low oxygen conditions. Even Utah's Great Salt Lake blushes a rosy pink sometimes, courtesy of salt-loving archaea microbes. However, beyond their aesthetic allure, these microbial transformations underscore broader ecological dynamics and the interplay between environmental factors and microbial communities. As scientists endeavor to unravel the mysteries of Lake Urima's crimson waters, they offer valuable insights into the resilience and adaptability of microbial life. Through ongoing research and monitoring, they seek to not only understand these phenomena, but also mitigate their potential impacts on these fragile ecosystems. Number 1. Kazakhstan Pentagram Buckle up, conspiracy enthusiasts! In a remote corner of Kazakhstan, nestled amidst the vast steppes, lies a peculiar sight, a massive pentagram etched into the Earth's surface. This symbol, a five-pointed star enclosed within a circle, stands out vividly on Google Maps, drawing intrigue from across the globe. It's located on the southern shore of the Upper Tobol Reservoir. This mysterious pentagram defies easy explanation. Surrounding it, the barren landscape offers little in the way of human habitation, with the nearest settlement a good 12 miles away. But what's the story behind this bewildering symbol, measuring a whopping 1,200 feet in diameter? Well, online chatter has linked it to everything from devil worship to clandestine religious sects, adding to its mystique. Zooming into the pentagram center on Google Maps reveals two intriguingly named spots, Adam and Lucifer, names that conjure up images of ancient mysteries and otherworldly beings. While the pentagram may evoke some more sinister connotations, it is worth noting that the symbol has been embraced by various cultures and religious groups throughout history, from the Mesopotamians to Christians and Freemasons. And when I say throughout history, I mean it. This isn't the first oddity uncovered through Google Maps. In New Mexico, two large diamonds surrounded by overlapping circles hint at a hidden bunker rumored to belong to the Church of Scientology. Meanwhile, the Gobi Desert has a strange Yagi antenna array used for atmospheric research, and Nevada hosts a colossal KFC advertisement featuring the iconic Colonel Sanders. But fear not, tinfoil hat wearers, because Emma Yuzmanova, an archaeologist familiar with the area, has shed light on the mystery. According to her, the pentagram is simply the outline of a park fashioned in the shape of a star, a nod to the Soviet era when Kazakhstan was part of the former Soviet Union. Stars adorned everything, buildings, flags, and monuments during this time, and the pentagram likely served as a whimsical homage to this cultural motif. So what appears to be an eerie symbol of the unknown is, in reality, a testament to history and cultural heritage. As roadways lined with trees trace the star's contours, the mystery of the Kazakh pentagram unravels, revealing a fascinating glimpse into our past. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you to our channel members.